I'd like to spend a few moments and talk about improvising single note lines that outline harmonies. And these harmonies are dictated by a particular kind of bass line. In this case, we're going to have a mostly chromatic bass line. And I'd like to talk about what each of these pitches imply as far as the harmony. So here's G at the 10th fret of the 5th string. So you can hear G minor here, the 1 minor. Some ideas for extra notes here, melodic pitches. G at the 10th fret, A7, B flat, 8, D7, G, 8th fret of the 2nd string. Now you can hear it wanting to go somewhere, a common place. is to go to the five chord. And this means our bass note's gonna descend by a half step to F sharp. This is the third of D7. So if, if D is the root, we can have F sharp as its third. And so this, I'm outlining more or less D7 flat nine. It also could be thought of as C diminished, F sharp diminished. In a lot of Baroque literature, it's hard to tell the two apart, D7 flat 9 and F sharp diminished. So it's the, it's the diminished chord that lives right below 1. So if this is G minor, 10, 12, 11, here's either D7, this is 9, 10, 10, or put the flat 9 in there on the 8th fret of the 3rd string. So we've had this mo move of you'll hear this at the beginning of many pieces by Bach. Now one thing he often does is to introduce the flat 7 right away. So here's G minor, harmonic minor with that implied F sharp. Here's D7. Here's G7. With F in the bass, so third inversion, G7. How about uh, eight, nine, seven, seven, 8, 10, 8, 9. I'm just giving you some places to go. And that's gonna, you can hear that it wants to resolve down here. This G7 becomes the five chord of C minor, which is in this key of G minor. It's the four, four minor. Here we are at C minor with the E flat in the bass, so first inversion, C minor. Six, five, five. How about six, five, five, seven, eight? So just basic arpeggios off of the chord type and whatever bass note we're using. So in this case, it's C minor with an E flat in the bass. Now a nice place to go from here to prolong heading back to one is to go for the five of five. So in our case of G minor, D7 is the five. But we're gonna put the five of five in front. So if D is the five of G, What's the 5 of D? Well, the way the guitar is tuned will easily tell us this tuning in fourths. So A7.
is going to be the five of D7. So G minor, D7, G7, C minor. How about A7 with an E in the bass? So just your basic seven, five, six, E, G, C sharp. How about these pitches? Seven, five, six. How about six, seven, five? So just outlining A7. If you want to get that piquant B flat in there, sixth fret of the first string also. This sounds also like C sharp diminished seven. So A7 is gonna go to D7. How about just five, four, seven, five? We can put the flat nine in there at the eighth fret. And now if we get a little turnaround, this D can become the fifth of G minor. Five, five, three. D, G, B flat. What if we go to C minor? Three, five, four, C, G, E flat. And now a little diminished. How about four, five, three, five? I hope you can hear that that wants to go, in our case, to D7. Five, seven, five, seven. Five, seven. And it sounds so natural to come back home to G minor. So G minor, D7. G7. C minor. I put the leading tone implying G7 again for C minor. C minor. Then what did we have? A7 over E. D7. And then we had G minor over D, second inversion. C minor. How about A7 over C sharp? Or C sharp diminished seven, or A7 flat nine? Hope this has been of interest. If anything seemed to swamp you or be over your head, maybe rewind the video, watch it again. Make sure you know all about the chord tones of minor chords and dominant chords and diminished chords. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I do wish you, as always, a very, very good day.